uh, again just a few actually minutes ago we, we practiced a quite strange kind of meditation which is meditation uh, on your name like first name and the family name and uh, next technique which we're going to to practice just in a few minutes is uh, will be mirror uh, meditation and you know it's um, both of that uh, techniques are more or less famous uh, quite many mystics uh, especially in uh, in in india and in the western culture as well they mentioning about this kind of techniques but strangely enough not so many people are practicing that and in the western uh, tradition i mean to say mostly like psychology psychic therapy they sometimes uh, work with a mirror but uh, okay i'm not going to say that's right or wrong but just they have their own way we have slightly different techniques and important to know that all that technology are not a part of modern western science it's extremely ancient and in my life i met uh, like uh, some few yogis uh, who just told me about the importance of these techniques and of course uh, for me number one was my guru Yogi Rama but at the same time uh, some other mystics as well and I met such a people in Sati Sai Baba Ashram I met such a people in South Indian Tamil Nadu and uh, in the uh, 19th century so as most probably you know in Tamil Nadu it was like great um, saint his name is Ramalinga Swami um, he was born let me see something like 1821 or 22 and he experienced this uh, rainbow body it was um, 1874 at that time he was approximately 51 or 52 years old and actually he really was on the level of that so-called Shiva Swarupa Samadhi which is like physical immortality and according to um, information which I have he um, experienced that highest self-realization when he was 28 years old but anyway in the, the complete rainbow body he experienced when he was 51 or 52 and it's in, okay he was he was or he is actually uh, one of the most important Kriya Yoga masters and um, Yogi Rama he sent me like a couple of times to stay there for two three weeks and I was really enjoying to think in Vadalur this is a um, okay small village uh, where Ramalinga Swami actually he spent second half of his life and uh, there in a small um, okay that's um, something between ashram and temple it's not exactly temple not exactly ashram which he constructed and the name is a Siddhi Valagam he actually experienced that exactly rainbow body and the unique about this because even British police they made a report, uh, report about um, the fact so and uh, why i'm now again speaking about ramling the swami because when he was an um, even child and later on teenager he was practicing a lot this mirror meditation and according to some um, sources even meditation on his name uh, well and in Satya Sai Baba Ashram was a uh, very famous and a wonderful person his name was Ratan Lal it's a kind of like Advaita Vedanta philosopher and I was fortunate to know him pretty well and in 90s was really spent time and he, before this Ratan Lal actually he he wrote and published I think maybe two or three books it's available very simple and beautiful about 
um, Vedanta and uh, especially Advaita Vedanta philosophy, but you know, <clears throat> when before this Ratan Lal came to Satya Sabhavashan, he was practicing a lot, a lot this mirror meditation. Uh, Salmai Guru Yogi Ramak also, he, when he was especially young, he did it uh, and he advised me to practice and I <clears throat> actually remember, um, you know, in my room it was like always mirror with a candle, I was meditating on that. Uh, okay, what is the meaning when we meditate on our name and <clears throat> Fam uh, family name, of course, the, and also like mirror meditation. What is the meaning? And um, actually, the main uh, philosophical formula uh, for the Vedanta is in Sanskrit we call it aham aham. Uh, and the meaning is uh, really wonderful and strange, it means I, I. Or sometimes we may translate it like I am I. And gurus like Ramana Maharsha and Sati Sai Baba and my guru Yogi Rama in 20th century they really uh, gave a lot of lectures and um, messages about the importance of this uh, great philosophical statement, okay, like aham aham, I am I. And this is, um, you know, the top level poetry, yeah, like I am I. And the same time, top level logic. I mean, what can it be more logical than to say I am I? Like if I ask you, who are you? The best answer is I am I. <laughs> um, but uh, so it's the most ancient answer about nature of the self and the meaning is that um, oh there are many possibilities how to um, uh, command how to analyze how to understand this statement in some sense means I uh, first I like as a human I human nature and then I say okay my human nature really is a divine nature I'm really God I'm really absolute consciousness and this is like pointer to the self-inquiry because this the essence of spirituality is self-inquiry nothing more uh, and as we already told actually about it that for most of the spiritual practitioners, I'm really sorry to say about it, the self-inquiry is a just intellectual toy. Okay, we have books, we have lectures, we have um, all the things, and we actually know that, okay, you know, the top level Vedanta is about self-inquiry. And because we want to be great, naturally we uh, like to say, okay, yeah, uh, self-inquiry is the most important. But really speaking, not for everyone this question about nature of the self, nature of the consciousness is really important. So, only highly advanced practitioners really experience, you know, desire, huge spiritual desire to know the nature of oneself to know the nature of one's consciousness. And at the same time, when we speak about quite, um, you know, maybe even worldly question about uh, positive intention. You know, now in the Western world, it's very famous to speak about, okay, put like goals, you know, create set of goals, then create positive intention, then work hard and you will reach success. And you know, this formula, which is aham aham, is also about how to work with a positive intention. Because what is the main secret about success 
or absence of success, success or failure. Actually, it's um, again this aha maham. Again, actually, uh, I am I because you know, uh, creatively, socially, materially, financially, you know, successful people are those people. It's just possible to to get it to reach this level only if your relationship with yourself is in harmony, peace, acceptance, when you love yourself, when you accept yourself, when you're in balance, peace, harmony with yourself. So that means the main question even for management, I mean management of one's life, is the main question what is or what are my relationship with myself? This is the main question. Uh, okay, um, uh, I may get a like wonderful education. I may read a lot of books about management, you know, how to do this and that. And my subconscious mind will not let me to reach success. I mean creative and financial. Because as I told already quite many times that, you know, the, the essence of success is not to be rich. It, it must be. It must be. Financial success must be. But the essence is to understand what is my life purpose and live my life according to my life purpose, to fulfill my life purpose. This is the, the essence of success, real success. But anyway, okay, how to reach that success? To be creative and of course yeah and and financially uh, successful as well the main point is what about my relationship with myself is there any peace harmony and balance acceptance inside my consciousness inside my soul because the main conflict the main war the main struggle heaven inside human consciousness um, that's that's the point that's the reason why this um, aham aham we may understand like on two different levels divine and human divine means meditation means you as a personal self practice meditation and you in the process of self-inquiry and like step by step you are reaching the the point of experience yourself as absolute consciousness that's the reason why in the Vedas we have such a statements like Aham Brahma Asmi I am absolute reality, I am Brahman but the human uh, meaning of this Aham Aham or I am I is okay relationship with oneself for the purpose of you know, to fulfill one's um, uh, life purpose, to be successful, to be creative. Actually, family life, health, financial climate in your pocket, <laughs> in your bank account, all that depends on what is your relationship with yourself.